In the early 30s, when Alfred Hitchcock was just becoming known, the press used to refer to him as the English Fritz Lang. A high compliment since director Lang was not only internationally famous as one of Germany's great picture makers, but especially known for his thrillers, chief among them this 1931 classic, his first talkie, with the shortest title in movie history, M, based on the true story of a child murderer, with Peter Lorre in the role that made him famous. Fritz Lang had been a major silent director for over a decade before M. Like most of his previous successes, he'd co-written the script with Thea von Harbaugh, who was his wife. Their original title was Murderer Among Us, and before shooting started, Lang said, an associate of his who'd only heard the title warned him that his movie would get him into political trouble. When Lang explained the picture was about a child murderer, the associate, who turned out to be a member of the Nazi party, was relieved. He had thought Murderer Among Us meant a picture against Hitler and the Nazis. One of the most remarkable things about M is how Lang, while not showing any real violence, creates far more chilling scenes, as in the famous sequence in which the young girl playing with ball and balloon is killed. When I asked Lang once about this scene, he said, if I could show what is most horrible for me, it may not be for somebody else. Everybody in the audience has a horrible feeling, but everybody has a different feeling because everybody imagines the most horrible thing that could happen. In this way, Lang said, I force the audience to become a collaborator of mine. By suggesting something, I achieve a greater impression, a greater involvement than by showing it. In the film, the police, as well as the underworld, both desperately search for the psychopathic sex killer. The underworld, because the increased vigilance of the authorities makes it difficult for them to operate. And it's the underworld that gets them first. A year or so after M, in 1933, Lang was called into a meeting with Dr. Goebbels and told that Hitler was an admirer of his films, especially Metropolis. And then Goebbels offered Lang the post as head of the German film industry. Well, Lang told me he agreed to everything, and the same evening, unable to get to his bank in time, he fled Germany for Paris, leaving almost everything he owned behind. Soon afterward, all his money and possessions were confiscated. And that same year, Lang's wife and collaborator, Thea von Harbaugh, divorced him and joined the Nazi movement. He never remarried. Lang came to America the following year, where he stayed until his death in 1976 at age 86, directing another 24 pictures, many of them thrillers. But Hitchcock's preeminence and far bigger budgets caused Lang now sometimes to be called the German Alfred Hitchcock. Among his best American thrillers is The Big Heat, released in 1953, 20 years after M, another violent tale in the Lang tradition of hate, murder, and revenge about a police detective played by Glenn Ford fighting a suave mobster who controls the city through graft and corruption. A hit is ordered on the detective, but his wife is killed instead, and now the detective's crusade turns into a personal vendetta. Co-starring Alexander Scourby as the mobster, Lee Marvin as his key henchman, Gloria Graham as Marvin's mall, and Jocelyn Brando as Ford's wife. Again, Lang's direction shows violence through its result. Fritz Lang was a formidable figure in his old age, still vital into his 80s, yet cursed with blindness, a man who had stood at the height of his country's film world when German pictures were at their most popular and influential, only to lose his position, his country, and his wife to a madman. He looked at me once through his monocle and said with irrefutable authority, Peter, you pay for what you get. And so, as a director of Nightmare Worlds, Fritz Lang had few peers, and he deeply sympathized with the damned figures who inhabited them. He knew how much fate had to do with their lives. As he said, these people had all his heart. I must look up. Ben shouldn't have ruined my looks. It was a rotten thing to do.